Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would bring to you how to make this um, little axolotl keychain. It's actually quite a big keychain. It's about the same size as my hand, um, but he's a little mini plush, regardless of whether he's a keychain or not. So I've been making axolotl plushes for around about five years now. Like you can look back on my Instagram and I actually posted some. Uh, I think in like 2016, 2017 on that and since then I've been, you know, had a lot of questions and messages and been getting some requests to make my axolotl and show you how I make them. So I thought today that I would do that because I had some scrap of this pink fabric left as well as the colour for like the little girls. So I thought I would just share the tutorial on how to make this today. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it keeps you busy whilst you're staying indoors, staying at home, staying safe and healthy as possible. And yeah, I'm just going to get straight on into it. So like I said, I made this plush out of a scrap piece of pink plush fabric and this is the plush fabric that I actually used so I just drew out this shape kind of like a potato shape and then made a little swirly twirly body and a tail I just basically drew this from my mind no particular pattern on the back side of the plush fabric once I had my shape drawn out I then cut around it and then just put it right sides together with another piece and cut around that Taking a piece of wool felt, I used these scalloped edge scissors just to make these little pieces here. So I made sure that they were like four kind of bubbles high, making the edge round and then making them four bubbles kind of down so that they ended up looking a little bit like this. Once I had six, I then put three on each side, facing them inwards, and then I put them in between the two pieces of the plush fabric. To keep them down in place and in place whilst I sewed it, I actually just took um, a needle and thread and just hand kind of stitched those into place so that they wouldn't move around when I took it under my sewing machine or anything like that. Going over to my sewing machine, I actually started on like the gill bit first. This isn't where I wanted my opening to be. I just wanted to make sure that these bits were fully secure to begin with. So I carried on the go around like the line of the pattern all the way around until I reached the place where I wanted to leave a gap, which is where I was going to leave the tab to turn it inside out. So as you can see here, I'm sewing, back stitching, taking it off and then re-putting it on around about an inch away so that the gap for turning it inside out would be in a like more easier place because if it's on the head, it's quite hard to turn inside out and then like carry on that shape so once my stitching was all done I then cut off any of the excess just at like so I actually just used pink and shears for this but you can use normal scissors if you want but I left a tab where I left that inch gap so that it will be easier to turn the right size way round I always leave a tab so that I can hold on to it and then it's like neater when you fold that bit in and you've got to sew it back up um, so yeah I made sure that that tab was kind of further down if that was on the head I would just struggle to keep the curve going on the head that's why I left it there so I then started stuffing my plush, I stuffed it with toy stuffing, just starting with the head to begin with and then went down to the tail and then it started from like the head part to the neck part, building it down to that opening so that the opening was the last bit that I stuffed. Once stuffed I then took a pink needle and thread again and just stitched up that hole to secure all of the stuffing inside. Once completely stuffed I then moved on to make the kind of little tail part of the axle all so I just used the same um, wool felt again drew around it with a biro cut it out and then I just cut out a kind of bit in the middle which was the same size as the actual tail so this is a tricky part when it comes to really really fiddly like sewing but you'll want to just stitch like right on the inner edge of that part with tiny tiny stitches going through the whole entirety of the tail so you just stitch in like the edge of it so that it kind of attaches sideways hopefully that makes sense like as you can see here just tiny stitches going in and around just at the base of the felt attaching it to the plush once that piece was then fully attached I needed to make some arms and legs in order to do that I actually just drew around my own finger straight stitched it on a sewing machine and then just cut those pieces out I then just turned them inside out this bit again is tricky so you want to use like a tool to press that out because they're quite small and then once you have all four you just want to fold in all the raw edges like the kind of flat edge of the arms and legs just so that you won't be left with any like you know jaggedy raw edges on your plush so once you have those all turned the right sides away round and all the raw edges tucked in you'll then just want to stitch them onto your plush so as you can see here i'm just like putting the flat edge up to like the um creased bit 
not creased, like the, um, what's that called? Seam, ha. <laughs> the seam down the side of the axolotl, and I'm just stitching that into place. I'm also putting in stitches to hold the kind of front of the arms into place as well, so that they're flat to the body. You don't have to do this, just depends on how you want your little plush posed. You can obviously leave them sticking out if you want to. I also did the same thing on the legs as well, just stitched them down into place. For the face, I use some toy safety eyes by cutting off the backs and then gluing them down into place. This is something that I do when I have small plushes like this that you can sometimes fill the back in like through the plush because it's quite thin. So this is a technique that I like to use and it hasn't failed me yet. To paint on the mouth, I just used some Tulip Slick Fabric Paint and a barbecue skewer and I just really, really carefully painted that on in the direction of the fabric just so that it wouldn't smudge. You want to take your time with this as this can go terribly wrong if you kind of mess it up. Seriously, just, just take your time. I've messed up so many times on the mouths before, you have no idea. To finish off the plush and make it into a keychain, I just sewed a keychain onto the top just using the same needle and thread. So now that the keychain is all attached at the top, this is how my keyring is looking. So it is a little bit larger than I had hoped for, around about the same size as my hand, but I think this would be adorable on like a holdall or a backpack or something. These are the type of plushes that I love on my backpacks, as you guys may already know. I just love collecting little funny coloured backpacks and then putting my little plushes on them. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this is how the Axolotl has turned out. Really, really happy with it. It's a nice size. You know, it's nice and junky. It's little gills and stuff are super adorable. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video today and have taken away a few little tips and tricks to, in order to make this yourself. If you do make it, please do be sure to, you know, tag me on Instagram, send me over a picture or a message, put me on a story. I will repost you onto my stories and then leave you in a little highlights tab. And um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.